Krishna's and uh, that's the time. But you saw that in uh, in uh, Nidra Yoga, he becomes confused. Wait a minute, there's no baby. Uh, maybe I should turn the other side. The baby will be there. And when she turns the other side, Yoga Maya serves in a personal way and becomes that baby girl, Subhadra. And then when Vasudev comes in to Madhya Sona's room, he sees that a back is towards this other side, but a front is towards leaning or sleeping on the right side. And he says, now's my chance. Yeah. So he comes and he places that Vishnu or Narayan baby. Or, or it's called also Vasudev Krishna, belonging to Vasudeva Devaki. When he just about places that baby on the bed of Mother Yasoda's back, and then, then Shamasunda Krishna becomes Prakat. And that baby enters into Shamasunda Krishna, unknowing to Vasudev. And in this delirious condition, you know, Mother Yasoda feels, oh, there is a baby on my right side, like that. But then, baby, Nanda Dula, who is the sum total of all incarnations and expansions, because Vasudev Krishna entered into him also. And then he starts crying. And when he starts crying, then Mother Yasoda, she, Oh, the baby is now, he's, he's, he's on the side. He's on the side. So she turns again. Oh no, my baby is here. Because you have to be on the left side for the baby boy. That's the culture. And then Vasudevi says, oh, she's turning to go to baby Krishna. And then, and then he comes and he picks up the baby girl. So remember, she's in a coma. So, this is a material word, but just to understand. She's in a coma, so when she turns, she's still in a coma. She cannot see Vasudev in the room. That's Devaki's husband. So he comes, oh, now I'll take this baby girl. And then he takes the baby girl back to the jail of Kamsa in Mathura. <coughs> and then Kamsa hears the cries of the baby girl. And he comes, and you know. He takes that girl and he tries to dash her to kill onto the stone floor, hard stone floor. And immediately Subhadra flies out of his hands and takes the form of Durga. This is extremely interesting. <laughs> now, Kamsa is the sum total of materialistic consciousness within Krishna Lila. So he is materialistic in a spiritual way. Because nobody can touch Yoga Maya. A conditioned soul cannot touch Yoga Maya. So how come Kamsa touched this, caught this baby girl, Subhadra? And Subhadra is another name, is called Krishna Anuja. Krishna Anuja means the one who follows Krishna or the one who appeared after Krishna. Like that. So practically she is the daughter of Yasoda but younger sister of Krishna and Balaram. So therefore, Jagannath Baladev, so Balaram. He's so, he's so fortunate to have them here also. Jagannath Baladev, so So now, when uh, Subhadra slipped out of Kamsa's grip and went into mid-air, and took the form of Durga. 
Because Subhadra was touched by the contaminated or materialistic consciousness of Kamsa, she is no more Subhadra. She becomes Durga. So then what happens? When she says this prophecy, oh, that child who was meant to kill you has been born somewhere else, and then she disappears. And she reappears in various ways, in different places as Chandi, as Vaishnavi, and so forth. But she herself, besides the expansions, she goes as Durga, and she takes shelter of the Vindhya Chala mountains. And she can only appear again in Prakat or manifest Leela until that person who contaminated her form is killed. And that is who? Kamsa. So therefore there is no recorded history of the time when Subhadra appeared to Yasoda until the time when she again reappears in Dwarka as a grown-up young lady. There's no recorded history. Simply because the record is that she cannot manifest because she was touched by Kamsa. She was contaminated. And until the contamination is got rid of, that source of a contamination, then she'll appear again as Subhadra in Dwarka. This mystery is there. So when Krishna went, when he was 12 years young, when he left Vrindavan and go to Sora Kamsa, like that, after he killed Kamsa, the two wives of Kamsa named Asti and Prapti, they went back to their father's place because they became widows. And that's the culture. That when there are no children, but they become widows, the widows go back to the father's place for protection. So Asti and Prapti were the daughters of Jarasandha. And when Asti and Prapti went back to Jarasandha and says, look, you know, this young man, he killed our husband, Kamsa. So Jarasandha began attacking Mathura. And then Krishna could not tolerate this. He said, I have to protect my associates. So then he moved his entire associates of Mathura to Dwarka after killing Kamsa because of Jarasandha's attack. And then the Vindhyachala mountains released that so-called Durga back into Subhadra and she appeared again as a young lady. And she became the wife of Arjuna in Dwarka. But this is all transcendentally powerful. Even Kamsa is a spiritual personality. Therefore, another name for Krishna is called Kamsa Hunter. <laughs> Just imagine, Kamsa is celebrated as being killed by Krishna. And therefore, Krishna's name is Kamsa Hunter. Yes. Uh, we have one Prabhupada disciple who served with us in South Africa. Prabhupada named him Kamsa Hunter. Prabhu. Yeah, Kamsa Hunter. So sometimes we used to, you know, we used to call him, uh, Hey Kamsa, come. You know, for short form. You know, like shot comes. We, we we forget the hunter. <laughs> and then, so sometimes, but he he accepted it. He understood. So therefore, the question remains. <clears throat>